Hello everyone, it's the Redstone Programmer, and today we're going to be building the next part of our Redstone computer, the ALU registers. So what these are, are basically just um, uh, registers or like memory that stores the numbers that are currently going through the ALU. So to do this, let's come to the uh, far right side and build some D flip flops because the D flip-flops are going to store what's in the uh, going into the ALU if you just watched my video on memory which you definitely should check out as it it gives you a good understanding of what you're actually doing in this series so now that we have the data in like this let's create the right or the save lines, as I called them. So it would end up something like this. Okay. But for stacking purposes, we're going to destroy this, actually. Come over to this side, and this is where it gets a bit complicated. So we have dust here, and what I'm actually going to do is, well, we could just do this, and no, we can just do this, okay, just like that. And now, if we set this here to position 1, and this here to position 2 we should be able to stack it after I add some wiring so we can do this we just need a way to be able to save the first number and then save the second number so now, if I stack three, there we go. <clears throat> so this here would save it to the first uh, register, so the f number to the first input of the LU. And this here would save it to the second input, if I could see, and it did not shut off that last torch. So we'll just do this. Okay, and actually what we can do is come over here, destroy this, and we can actually, we need to power this one here, so we just extend this line a little bit, and it'd be like this. So we need to bridge these two inputs together. So let's actually do it on this side quickly. And then up, er, up and down. Okay, <clears throat> now we just need to do this to all of them. So, up, and down. And I'm just going to do this to the, all, uh, the other two. Okay, so I just finished them. Okay, now you are probably very confused at what the heck I just did. So, let's clear some things up. So first over here, I'm going to label set A and set B. 
because the first one will set ALU register A and the second one will set ALU register B. And remember, these ALU registers just store what's going into the ALU. So let's do five in the first register. So enter five here and then we can set A. And then we can enter three and set B. So now, if we come over here and we enable sum, we get 8. Subtraction, we get 2. So yeah, let's do another example. <clears throat> let's do 4 in the first register. And let's do 8 in the next one. So, 8 there. Now, if we come over here and we do addition, we get 12. And we can't do subtraction because 4 minus 8 would be negative. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how the ALU registers work. And thanks for watching and see you next time.